This video was brought to you by Stoenberg, Abed Root Planner, Mr. Green, Ken Power, and Marcus Biel. Yo, what's up? Finally, we have it. The BMW i4, this is the rear wheel drive, doesn't matter too much. But in this video, I'm going to check how baby friendly it is. So we have stroller here, we have car seat here. We're going to put it inside the car, see how it works. And then we'll figure out, is this a good family car versus, I guess, one of the close arrivals is the Tesla Model 3. So yes, uh, you know, BMW stands for Baby Motor Works. So it should work great, right? Let's check out the front first. Okay, you have to always have to double tap in the BMW to open the hood. And then, oh yeah, yeah, there's no, okay. So, huh, what, 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 what heck is this? Huh? Is this the engine? Oh, okay. Wait, huh? Is this some kind of joke? Can we take this off? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Wait, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute. Uh, oh, there's some rougher, rubber stuff there, okay. Right. There, 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 there. What? You gotta be kidding me. You gotta be kidding me. Oh, uh, I forgot, this is the rear wheel drive. So there is, we have less uh, engine in here, but there's uh, lacking a drivetrain motor electronics for the all wheel drive, the M50. So, of course, they um, freed up lots of space, plenty of space. You can put probably two banana boxes in here. So, <laughs> but did they make a frunk here? Nine. Niche frunk here. And as usual, I'll put the E-Priam in the trunk and see how it goes. So we can disassemble a little bit of this. So this is considered just a medium-sized one. But let me see here. There is some kick sensor here. Ooh. There. Hmm, it's roughly there. Okay, okay, that's good. Well, it's uh, fairly deep, not too wide. Uh, we'll see how it goes. This one, uh, what? What the heck is this thing? At least it's very easy accessible, as if they designed it to be very easy to reach. <laughs> okay, but uh, look here. Under here, oh, we have the. Wait, can we take out this? Oh, we can take. Oh, yeah, but then it becomes like this. But yeah, we have to take off this one because I think we can utilize. Wait, can we flip it? Can we flip it like, uh, I have an idea. Can we flip it like this? Oh yeah, oh yeah. You see? But here, we have this space. This could be vital for fitting the Eprium in here. And then here, we have, oh, look at this. We have travel outlet here. And then we have button for Anhanka Kupplung. Comes out here. Wait, did I press it? Wait. Holy sh- Huh? Damn, it's slow. That's the slowest erection ever. Ugh. Ugh. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> it's like the lag in in the infotainment system reflects the lag in the in the tow hitch. <laughs> Wait, is it also slow going back? Maybe the 12 volt battery is low. That's why it's maybe it's supposed to be faster than this Or maybe not Yeah, it's probably the, yeah, at least it's fully automatic. Yeah, and people can say ah, oh, but in your Tesla How fast can you erect your uh, tow hitch? Huh? Huh? Exactly Let's see now if we put the caracot here you see we just yeah, let's just open it up right away so we can uh, put the fit everything in here Let's see if I can put this uh, frame without having to take off the well, uh, um, take off the wheels. Maybe if I can just remove this one. I can already see that it needs to be removed, right? Something like this. Kind of semi-clumsy, but oh, is it safe to close this one? I'm not going to crack something, right? Oh. Well, I don't want to crush the the precious Ypres. Oh, it worked! <laughs> it can match Tesla. Model 3, because you know why? Because it has a hatch, hatch opening. So versus Model 3, um, it's about the same. Okay, it can do it. Model 3 seems to have slightly more space left over, uh, if you remember that video. But this is approved. Wait, wait, there was another part. EQE, you couldn't do this. You have to take off the wheels. Huh? Yeah, Mercedes, watch and learn the Bayerische Motorwerk. 
The front seats here doesn't have any ESO fix, uh, but at least it has switch here to turn off airbag. Maybe I should, yeah, I should move it a little bit forward. So here we have manual adjustment. Uh, wait, I need two hands. Uh, uh, yeah, everything is manual here. I think the blinker is also optional. Ooh, I like this one. Oh, look at this. Oh, ho, ho, ho. nice, nice lid. That actually you could just pop it out and you don't have to find a place to put the lid here unlike the EQE and then Tesla you have to fist it in there. So this is superb. It is as if they designed it to be uh, child friendly. Oh, and on this one also we have not so big side bolts. That's also uh, very useful. And then as usual, I'll uh, put in the protection. Wait, uh, I guess it goes here. Just have to fist it in, finger it in somehow like this. Even though I feel like we don't need protection in this German Electro Auto because the leather is just so sturdy. It's made from holy cow and it's supposed to be able to take the pounding of a fat German butt for years. But we just put in the um, protection like every other car test. We're taking the um, Isofix base and then it beeps at you. That's normal because it will warn you that something... Wait. Well, this is kind of cramped. Warn you something is wrong here. All right. And that... Oh, this is so easy. You see the big holes? Oh, yeah. Super easy. Well, except for that, I forgot to open this lid. But look here. Look here. Look here how easy it is. Wow. I could do that with one hand. Green. Green. Done. And then just put this one up. Eh, well. There. Secure. And then let's see. How easy to take the cloud set in like this? Well, um, I just forgot. Yeah, I'll go about there. Just put it in there. But that was relatively easy to take in and out. The opening here is large enough. Pass. All right, I'm bringing in the big gun. Oh, that, oh wow, it's kind of tight in here. You see, I'm sitting behind myself right now. Right, but at least I managed to get it in. Uh, the lids are open, yes. And then we arm the hooks. Uh, oh, I can see it's kind of, you know, we don't have much uh, floor, I mean, uh, yeah, roof space here. So everything is just tighter here versus, for example, an ID5 for natural reasons. Uh, but I also kind of feel like maybe some of the Teslas have more space. I don't remember how Model 3 was. Okay, but anyway, this is super easy, you see. I got, I'm going to show you. I'm going to do this with one hand. The other hand is doing something else. Well, I, I had some, I was itching there. Yeah. And then we just raise this one. And that's it. Wow. That was super easy. <laughs> wow. Now I sit in the front, in the passenger seat front, and it is kind of cramped here. I mean, I can stretch my leg, but I'm very upright right now. And I can't recline. No, no, then, then I bump in the seat, so I kind of need to, I guess, slide more forward to get a better reclining angle there. Now it's kind of okay, but then you see here that my legs are compromised and I'm only 173 centimeter. This is a bit unpleasant if you want to drive on long stretches. So in this regard, Model 3 is better. And the back looks like this. Uh, for obvious reasons, you can't put anyone else in the middle here. It's simply not enough space. Even if you have uh, narrower um, child seats, I'm not sure if you can even put three child seats here. Some people tend to try to do that. Okay, so there you guys have it. The i4 will actually work as a family car. We managed to put the stroller in the back there, no problem because of the hatch opening. That was nice. Uh, when it comes to the design on the lids, also very nice and easy to fit in there but the space here is the biggest problem so i feel like we have slightly less space here i'm not sure but at least the space here so when you have the seat in the the front seat now in the comfortable position then you don't have people uh, you don't have space for people with with legs in the back so it's mainly because this part here you know has eaten up uh, unnecessary and lots of space so it's a compromise since this is a fossil design so if I would uh, take, if I would choose between a Model 3 or the i4, 
I think I will choose the Model 3. I think Model 3 would get the better score for me as a family car. So what do you guys think? Huh? Would you go, go for the i4 or the Model 3 if you have to bring some babies with you? I think that's going to be it for now. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, thank you for watching and talk to you later.